In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that, by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Like flowing water is the heart of the king in the hand of the Lord, who turns it where he pleases. A man's conduct may strike him as upright. The Lord, however, weighs the heart. To act virtuously and with justice is more pleasing to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eye, proud heart, lamp of the wicked, nothing but sin. The hard-working man is thoughtful, and all is gain. Too much haste, and all that comes of it is want. To make a fortune with the help of a lying tongue, such the idle fantasy of those who look for death. The wicked man's soul is intent on evil. He looks on his neighbour with dislike. When a mocker is punished, the ignorant man grows wiser. When a wise man is instructed, he acquires more knowledge. The just one watches the house of the wicked. He hurls the wicked to destruction. He who shuts his ear to the poor man's cry shall himself plead and not be heard. The Word of the Lord Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. They are happy whose life is blameless, who follow God's law. Make me grasp the way of your precepts, and I will muse on your wonders. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. I have chosen the way of truth with your decrees before me. Train me to observe your law, to keep it with my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. Guide me in the path of your commands, for there is my delight. I shall always keep your law for ever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. Alleluia, alleluia. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The mother and brothers of Jesus came looking for him, but they could not get to him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and brothers are standing outside and want to see you. But he said in answer, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and put it into practice. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The reading from Proverbs today is mostly concerning human motivation. It gives us some directions for our life with God to look in one's heart as God does and see what motivates a person. Doing what is right is more important than doing right or rituals. Pride and haughtiness leads to sin. Being disciplined and thoughtful are required parts of one's life and learn from those who are punished for doing wrong. Care for others so that others will care for you. And all these guidelines are supposed to form our character in accordance with 
the Lord's wishes. The psalm today is a prayer seeking God's guidance in life. It asks for the gifts of wisdom, discernment, and understanding so that one can be attuned to God and His plan for our life. And to attune to God, it needs us to obey His will, listening and putting His will into action. And Jesus in the Gospel promises a share in the family of God to those who open themselves to hearing God's word and then acting upon what they hear. The word of God is not just symbols on paper or sounds that bounce off the ear. The word of God is really the directive for our lives. It may be challenging to follow God's will, but if this is required of us as Christians to be part of God's family, then I think the battle will be worth it. Today, as followers of Christ, let us remember these two steps. Number one, listening and attentive to the Word of God. And number two, acting on what we hear by putting the Word into our daily actions. Sounds simple and easy, but challenging in executing. And so we pray that in our brokenness and limitation, may the Lord continue to empower us through the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and especially the gifts of obedience, wisdom, discernment, and understanding. And may He open our ears that we may truly hear His word. May He open our eyes that we might see His presence with us. And may God motivate our hearts that we may act upon what we see and hear, what Jesus is saying to us, and then put the word into action in our lives today. In the words of Jesus Christ himself, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raised up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us all and our loved ones, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. Have a joyful day, and God bless.